Did you know your show of shopping has a term in marketing? So when you buy things only to show off in front of others, the term in marketing is known as conspicuous consumption. So if you want to know more about this concept, then keep on watching. Welcome or welcome back to the Marketing Empress. If you are new here, hi, my name is Samradni and I create content on this channel all around marketing. I upload on every Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturdays. So if you want to increase your learning on marketing, I am sure these videos are going to be really helpful. So please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel by hitting the bell notification icon so that every time I upload anything related to marketing, you get notified. So without further ado, let's dive into the concept. In this video, we will be looking at answering the following questions. Number one, what is conspicuous consumption? Number two, what are the reasons behind conspicuous consumption? And lastly, we'll look at some brand examples of conspicuous consumption. Let's understand what is conspicuous consumption. So, the process or conspicuous consumption as a concept refers to consumers buying goods or products which are, you know, bought with a mindset that I need to display my wealth. It's not bought with a mindset that I need it for the utility purposes. Okay, so when the purchase is more so around uh, displaying one's wealth as against the actual usage of the product, the entire purchase is termed as conspicuous consumption. The word conspicuous here means lavishly spending on unnecessary things. Okay, so it's very important to understand that the uh, entire purchase or the phenomena or the concept revolves around understanding that this particular spending that you've uh, taken into account is not necessary. But you're still doing it because you need to show off your wealth or you need to show off um, you know, your ability to pay for those things. Let's understand this better through the concept of uh, why do people make these purchases, okay? Think about it. Have you ever seen a Bollywood celebrity uh, driving a Maruti car? Not really, or it might be very rare. Why is that the case? Do you think the car is not good? Of course not. Maruti is a market leader in the segment, so that obviously cannot be the reason. But the reason behind this is the status quo attached with a BMW or a Range Rover. And that is what these actors or Bollywood personalities are aiming for. So they want to buy a car which suits their personality. They don't want to have a car just because, you know, it provides you with the basic utility of transportation, right? A car in its most uh, basic sense is going to only help you with transportation. But at the end of it, when it comes to conspicuous consumption, there are multiple layers attached to it. And transportation then might be like the most uh, bottom most layer or something like that. Another thing that you guys must understand that conspicuous consumption as a concept is not only restricted to people who have a lot of money. This concept, in fact, is also eligible or also prevalent for people who do not have as much money but still want to buy things, uh, you know, out of their reach just so that they can show off in front of people. Uh, say, for example, a person is not earning that well but still wants to end up spending a, a good amount of money buying an iPhone. So that person might even uh, save up two to three months salaries to just ensure that they end up buying an iPhone. Now, this iPhone may be bought for its functional utility, but more often than not, it's bought only so that in front of your peers, you can act like you have an iPhone too. Next, let's look at what are the reasons behind conspicuous consumption. Now, the theory of conspicuous consumption is basically uh, based on the premise that people believe that whatever materialistic things they own, Based on those things, people can have judgments about them. So, for example, if I am owning an XYZ thing which is very pricey or very costly, 
someone around may come uh, come look at it and feel that you know i am actually very wealthy so that is the kind of relation that they try to establish now the reasons between uh, the reasons for conspicuous consumptions are broadly divided between two groups so conspicuous consumption can happen uh, due to either of these two, uh, two groups number 1 economical now economical is when you already belong to the affluent society of uh, the area you're living in and hence you need to buy luxurious things only because you need to be in sync with what the society demands all right the second reason or the second group is psychological this uh, group focuses on the innate belief that people have wherein they believe that quality and price are directly related so agar so so if at all a price of a product is higher then i am sure to get the best quality and hence you end up buying products which are highly or uh, more costly in comparison to the rest lastly let's look at some brand examples of conspicuous consumption now it's important to understand that conspicuous consumption is put into your mind through multiple advertising campaigns and believe it or not you might be sitting there and wondering that you know advertising doesn't really affect me so i don't really care about what advertising talks about or something like that but trust me guys advertising has such amazing influence on you that you are bound to get influenced by what they talk about and you must have come across these luxury brands uh, like automobiles uh, be it bmw or, or range rover as i've mentioned earlier be it fashion brands like burberry uh, louis vuitton or something like that they are all trying to distinguish themselves uh, from the crowd so if you are wearing something by burberry you are bound to stand out as compared to everyone else because you can afford that brand because you know you are that upper class person who thinks a uh, brand a uh, brand and the price is closely related so you don't mind spending that extra money just so that you can get associated in that upper class segment So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a new concept today which you may not have heard of before. Uh if you like this video, make sure you support my channel by liking, sharing it with your friends who like marketing, subscribing to the channel so that you get notified and of course click the bell notification icon as well so that you get notified every time something gets uploaded on this channel around marketing. Until next time, bye bye.